Good morning, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. This is, of course, a Sun, Moon, Rising reading. Please take the bits that resonate, as always, and leave the rest. And please, please do not try and make it fit. You will just lead yourself to a wrong conclusion, okay? Perhaps a later video will resonate. And if only one sentence or 30 seconds of this video resonates, that's the beat you're meant to take, okay? Here we go. What's going on for you? Past, present, challenge, future. The star card. Aquarius energy. Seven of wands. Mm. Queen of pentacles. Devil card. Yeah. World card. Feeling complete again. Nine of swords. You want closure on the past, that's for sure. There you are. King of Pentacles, Ooh, working relationship here for some of you. Hermit, so you've got Virgo energy, Capricorn energy, Aquarius energy, Ooh, a lot of different energies. And there's surprising developments here. I'm kind of getting, you know, your wish was to get some conclusion. It was to get closure on the past. You want to heal. You wanted to segregate yourself. You needed time out. Okay to do a lot of healing, to do a lot of self-reflection. All right. There is a new opportunity here. Okay. I'm getting going forward. There's travel. You know, this is a past car, but it's showing up, you know, as travel as a future influence. Kind of getting it's your dearest wish to get away for a while, away from a certain situation. There is at present some unavoidable conflict here. There's a lot of challenges between you and somebody. Okay, I'm kind of getting for a lot of you. This is a working relationship or a work situation. Kind of not getting in the way of a decision about personal relationships, but it's it's a choice between the two. Mm. So much alike. That's the challenge. For some of you, this is a working relationship. You're much more open. I'm kind of getting there that somebody around you is, whether this is in a working relationship or you're just living together or married, there's somebody around you is very complacent. You would like to have a change of scenery. Now, if this is a working relationship or a work situation, I'm kind of getting you want to for one of you, you want to change premises, you want to move, you want to expand. This person was dealing with as happy as things are. And it's causing conflict and challenges between you two. It's causing a lot of stress. Now, in a marriage situation, or even living with somebody, you don't necessarily have to be married. There is a person, they're all about status, you know, they're complacent, they... It's all about impression, you know, impressing the neighbours, so to speak. You've got a big decision to make. I'm picking up heavy Virgo and, yeah, certainly Earth energy around you. Picking up Virgo and Capricorn here. Mm. Now, you could... Right, be trying to make a choice between two different people, both Earth energy, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Mm. That's a new one. I mean, a new one for my readings. I don't very often come across this. Mm. It would seem you attract a certain certain traits. You don't want to repeat past cycles. You do see a situation as toxic. It's very difficult to get out of. A lot of you, because of circumstances, because of monetary issues. Okay, there's a lot of contemplation going on. The person you're dealing with doesn't really know what they really do want. They're just letting time drift by. 
you're fully aware that uh, you know life is made up of time so it's not a question of a thing to be frivolously wasted I'm kind of getting expansion here you want spiritual growth you've been wishing for us something to happen changes to take place for a long long time a while ago you did come full circle on yourself you you're heading for a new cycle in your life okay the last seven or eight years for you have not been good okay yes Yes, your wish did manifest, but not how you wanted it. And quite surprisingly, I'm kind of getting that some of you have met somebody. But either way, whatever your situation is, there's something here that requires your attention. And it's a question of focusing. But your focus seems to keep drifting. Now, for a lot of you, there is a there is a work offer here. Somebody here does want to form a working relationship with you, partnership. They want to mix business with pleasure. Hmm. It would mean more responsibilities, even in a job. There's more promotion, change of job. Hmm. There is through a few of you a work situation or even a private situation, a personal situation, love, you know, marriage, where you've been held back. There's a lot of jealousy and resentment around you at the moment. Somebody is definitely keeping their thoughts and feelings to themselves. And you, there's something new and exciting. You know, it's a bigger world for you. You're realising not just where you are is the centre of the universe. As I say, but somebody's complacent here. They are. You are heading for success. The universe is pushing you in a certain direction through intuitive thought, creativeness. This decision you're trying to make or wondering if you're doing the right thing, the universe is saying, if you're going to do it, now's the time to do it. Okay. Obviously, the choice is yours. This is a general read. It depends on, you know, your personal situation, the intricacies of it. I'm kind of getting a lot of you have taken on too much with work and responsibilities, and even in a marriage, taken on too much, and it's just tired you out. There is a situation you want to go into, possibly even be with somebody, settle down, build up a working relationship, build up build up a, a, a nice enterprise for yourself. Kind of you will overcome the competition, but it will require careful negotiation, tact. This offer you're wondering about the gen how genuine it is, how stable it is, the longevity of it. There's all sorts of questions running through your mind. This is something you'll give some really serious thought to before you jump in. Kind of getting you will make your decision eventually, but only when you're ready. Thanks very much for watching.